In this video, I'm going to be sharing my experience with Super Wrap Sprayable Vinyl. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and as always, thank you for watching, subscribing, and taking a look at the most recent content. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Super Wrap Sprayable Vinyl product, and if you want to jump straight to my thoughts and initial review on that, use the chapters below to get there faster. For those of you that have been following along with this build from the very beginning, now with my newfound power from the IS38 Turbo as well as the Unitronic tuning, I wanted a set of wheels and mainly tires that would help me transfer power from the drivetrain to the pavement a little bit more efficiently than my squishy all-terrain Yokohama Geolanders, which I love, but wanted something a little bit more performance oriented. But I also didn't want to spend a ton on wheels and spend more money on the tires uh, to do that. So with the help of Facebook Marketplace and some constant searching, I was able to find some 18 by 8 ASAs, which are, some, we'll say, some uh, replica style wheels, um, and mate those up to some BF Goodrich GeForce Comp 2s that are about 235 millimeters wide. So thanks to this new setup, I've been able to cut another 0.4 seconds off my 0 to 60 time, hitting a pretty consistent 4.2 to 4.3 seconds. So mission accomplished, that's exactly what I was going for with this new setup. However, the new silver wheels were just not doing it for me with the matte green wrap I have on the car. So I wanted to change up the color and I wanted it to do it in a DIY fashion, but also something that didn't look like complete trash. I heard a lot of great things about Super Wrap's products and watched all the YouTube videos I could about it and decided to give it a shot. I liked that it was temporary and I liked that I could do it at home and overall I liked the color selection that they offered. I went on their website, picked up the 18 to 19 inch wheel kit in metallic bronze and also picked up their caliper or brake kit in the Monza Red. Here's a really fast clip I put together for social media documenting the painting process. Overall, the brakes and wheels came out really, really nice. The colors were pretty close to what I was hoping for and the finish looked pretty authentic. Now, let's talk about in some detail my likes and my dislikes so far on the Super Wrap product. First of all, I like the finish. As mentioned, the finish on this product when applied properly is really, really nice. It doesn't look anything like Plastidip or other plastic products you might have used. It seems a little soft to touch at first, and maybe it's still, I don't know, drying, but it feels and looks pretty solid. Also, if you're buying a metallic color, the color, when sprayed thick enough, looks outstanding. I also like the thorough instructions and easy application process. The product is pretty easy to spray, and I didn't run into any dripping issues. They also pair you with the base color that you're gonna need, so it makes it really easy to apply. Now let's talk about a few suggestions or the things I didn't like that much about Super Wrap. So first and foremost is the wheel kit, and this is the big one. So on Super Wrap's website, you choose the color you want, then you choose the application, and for wheels specifically, you even choose the size of the wheel that you're gonna be spraying. This spits out how many cans of base and top coat you're gonna need, puts them in your cart, and you order. Sounds great, right? Wrong because the kits do not provide nearly enough material to complete the number of base and top coats that Super Rep suggests you apply, which is six for each. I ended up being short about two coats on the base coat and two coats on the top coat for my wheels, which don't have a huge amount of surface area. And if this was like a duplicolor paint, no big deal, right? You run to the store, you get some more, and you keep going. However, with Super Wrap, it's very specialized. It's not available anywhere locally, so I had to place another order, wait about a week, week and a half for it to arrive from Canada, and then I was finally able to get to spraying while my garage stayed 
uh, incapacitated since I had these wheels that I didn't want to unmask or really move anywhere until I was ready to finish up the job. So learn from my misfortune on this one. My suggestion is when you go to place your order for wheels with Super Wrap, make sure to buy the kit size either larger than what you need or place an order for an additional two cans of base and two cans of top coat. And the crazy part about all this was I was even warned to buy extra paint beforehand. My YouTube buddies over at It's Pronounced Vag, if you haven't watched their content, go check it out right now. They have awesome Golf R and Audi content for all of you as well. Um, anyways, they sent me an Instagram message knowing I was going to do some super wrap wheels saying to buy extra paint, and I just didn't listen. The next thing to know about super wrap is it takes a good amount of time to apply correctly. Super Rep suggests six coats of base and six coats of top in order to complete your project. And that's with about 20 minutes of dry time in between each of those coats or 12 coats. So with prep and masking, you're easily looking at about six hours of your time. And finally, and this one's just a suspicion at this point, but I am a little concerned at how it's gonna hold up. After only about 500 miles of driving, I have a few nicks and scratches here and there, and they're hardly noticeable. However, what I'm concerned about is since this uh, is a sprayable vinyl and when it's removed, it kind of flakes off. I'm hoping that just with normal cleaning, even uh, we'll say sensitive cleaning, that it doesn't start to break down this material. Um, obviously, for the cost you pay for this, which the wheel kits are about $80, um, it's a pretty good trade-off and it doesn't have to last a long time. But when you add in the time that you put into making this look great, you hope it lasts for, at least in my case, I'm hoping it lasts for at least a season to two seasons of using these wheels. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted on how the Super Wrap holds up in a future video. Remind me in three months to post to YouTube a Super Wrap review. So this is my initial review of Super Wrap Sprayable Vinyl, and if you're looking for an easy and DIY and removable finish for wheels or calipers, this might be a great solution for you, especially if you want something that has a nice metallic finish. Now don't forget, if you are going to be doing this, I would suggest ordering some extra paint, and even if you have some left over, that's better than running short. Now, if you liked this video or if it was helpful or hopefully inspired you to uh, make some changes on your own ride, make sure you like and subscribe to it and hopefully check out the rest of the videos. I uh, have some awesome turbo content as well as a lot of other upgrades for Mark 7 Golf Sport Wagons. Catch you in the next video and we'll be upgrading the brakes on the car.